Hey everybody, it's Cyber Gaming Studios. Before we get on to today's video, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new or if you're a returning subscriber, be sure to hit that bell button so you guys can get instant notifications of whenever I upload. So let's get on with today's video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how, how to use RetroArch and how to install it. Now, as you can see, I have already installed it just for this, specifically for this video, and I'm going to show you on how to, to use it. So, all you need to do is make, up, make, make over yourself over to Google Play Store and search up RetroArch. It's going to look, look just like this, as you can see on screen. It looks like a Space of Invaders character as an icon, and there's a bunch of consoles with, with other characters. And going into a smushing into a trash can. So when you actually install it and accept the permissions, because it's gonna only need access to your external uh, your storage space and other and other neat things, then be sure that you want to actually approve them the application from doing it because it will do that. So let's open it. And what's gonna happen first? You're gonna see a little black sc little gray screen. And it's gonna say extracting, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Once it's done, it's gonna disappear and it's gonna say complete. Next thing you know, you're going to have three tabs and your main menu. You know, we always we know that there is no course, so we can't load up anything just quite yet. So you have three tabs, playlists, and you have your driver, which it still says no core. So you can't do anything until you actually load up core. So right now we're going to actually run a, a, uh, a Black Ops game. And this is basically how to actually run it. It's for Nintendo DS, and I'm going to show you guys how to run it. So the first thing you always want to do is in the main menu, you want to go into load core and you're going to see no items, no worries. Then you're going to go below and go to download core and it's going to download all the information that's available on the server. Then go down, all the way down, you'll see, you be careful when you go because it is kind of separate when it goes up. So it is going to go upwards. So once you actually find your Nintendo DS core, which is D-E-S-M-U-M-E, just double tap it. It's going to download to 100%. Then it's going to disappear. Then you're done. That's all you need to do. And basically go back to the main menu. Now you can see that since it downloaded, you think, no, oh, there's no core. It's bullshit. No, it's not bullshit. You just have to load up the core. And there you go. So what you have to do is go back to low core. And you'll see that instead of saying download, you have the Nintendo DS core. You can only one load one core at a time. So that's pretty much how it is. You can actually... um. Choose other cores if you want, um, if you don't want to use a Nintendo DS, and that's pretty sure it. So what you're going to do in order to play a Nintendo DS game, double click it, double or click it, click it, or just click it once, depending on if it allows you. And you'll see that the no core has changed to D-E-S-M-U-M-E-S-V-N. Instead of the, you know, it wasn't like that when you actually chose the core. Now you're going to be presented with the quick menu, low core, low content, load recent, Add content, online updater, information, load configuration, blah, 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 whatever. And that's all you need to do. So how do you add games on to the RetroArch? All you need to do is go to low content. And you're going to have to select, go, collect. Just don't don't put this don't, don't put this down. So because you don't need to click this. What you're going to do is going to click select, select file and select file and detect core. You're going to go wherever your game is, is in. And then basically you're going to go to the folder that you have currently in. I have it in actually in the downloads because I, I don't really want to transfer it to anything. And then all you have to do is actually click it. Click it and then actually and then it will load up the game. It's going to take a bit for it to load as you can see. And depending on your phone and firmware, you're you're going to have see you're going to see some speed lags or some lags. So be sure you're actually running this on a good phone. Right now I'm actually not running this on a really, really well phone, but as you can see, I can show you guys it's working. It's it, it's it's fantastic. The graphics are not really bad that bad, but it is really laggy because as long as you have if you're running this on a on a gigabyte of RAM and a CPU that's underclocked under that's that's not below 1.9, then you're pretty much gonna have a little serious serious lag, and like like this. But this is nothing to really be mad about or judging about. It's an emulator, and not all emulators are gonna be working as fast as you want because it's not the original hardware. It's running as an emulator, and it's, it's emulating the game on on a hardware that that's not currently not supported. So as you know, you guys, that's all I have for this tutorial. If you guys want to see more, I'll be actually posting another media server um, video later. So you guys can actually, actually can take, check that out and get more of the tutorial for PS4. I have to remaster that one because I didn't 
do that one as well as I do with my other videos. And I do apologize for that, but stay tuned for that for that video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.